Hi everyone, my name is Lauren. Welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. We're going to do a little rapid fire wrap up of all the books that I read while I was pretty much on YouTube hiatus because I literally did not upload for the three months of my last semester of uni. I'm going to rapid fire through my readings. If you want to read a full in-depth review and description of this book, I will link the books and my reviews down below in the description. I'm still working through some of my reviews, um, but as I do them, I will update the links so that you have them. So you can reference back to this if you want my reviews um, or just follow me on Goodreads. And as I update them, you'll see them in your feed. So that's what I'm gonna do. We're gonna go through each of the books and go from there. Also, this is my new setup. I have new shelves, new vibe. Tell me what you guys think. Um, there is going to be some books filling in this spot and some books filling in that spot. I'm just waiting for some more books to arrive and I have some signings that are coming up soon. So they'll all be filling in that. Um, but I think it looks really, really good so far. Um, some of my favorite books are turned out. Um, there is also more books over here, uh, which you'll probably see in different videos, but this is gonna be my, mostly my filming spot. I like this spot. It just feels cozy and sweet. So we're gonna be going through March, April and May. And I'm just going to go through them in the order in which I read them rather than like breaking up by star rating. The first one, which is one of my favorites that I read this year, it is First Down by Grace Riley. It is a uh, football fake dating romance. I loved it. It was a five star. Honestly, such a, such a good book. I read Swells on Holidays and it was everything. After that, I continued with the series and I read Breakaway. This is a hockey romance of the MMC's brother. Uh, this was a four stars. It is so much fun. It is a, he, the MMC is her spicy coach. Fucking hot. Then an anticipation for the show coming out. I read Daisy Jones and the Six as a reread. This is one of my favorite books of all time. It is my whole life, my whole personality. Daisy Jones is everything to me. Please please check this out. I highly recommend the audiobook if you are going to read this. It is so good. I can't even explain it to you. This was a five star for me, obviously. Kiss and Don't Tell. This, I gave three stars. It's not my favorite. It is a like forbidden romance with the MMC's, ex, MMC's half brother's ex-girlfriend. It was fun. It was sweet. It was really, really funny. Just not my favorite. Didn't fully grip me. It's a solid three star rate. Then I listened to Radiant and Sin by Katie Robert. This was also a three star. It's a workplace romance. Not my favorite, but it was a fun spicy time. Those are three little words. This is a brother's best friend accidental pregnancy book. And my God, was it so much fun. Solid four star read. Highly recommend you guys checking this one out. It was one of my favorites and I do not like the accidental pregnancy trope. Things we leave unfinished. This is like a historical literary fiction book. So beautiful, I loved it. I loved the historical flashback part of it more than the present time romance. Uh, I gave it a four stars. It was a really, really good emotional read if you want that. Right Man, Right Time. This is an age gap hockey romance as well. It is a four star for me. Silas Taters can fucking get it and he has a pierced eggplant. Highly recommend you guys checking this one out. It is a fake dating. Things We Had From The Light by Lucy Score. This was a three star. I didn't love it. I honestly could not tell you anything about it other than I was not impressed. It was just okay. I was entertained enough. Forced proximity kind of style book. Just not my favorite. Solid three star read. Drew A Week To Be Wicked by Tessa Dare. Again, I don't remember much about this, but I gave it a four stars. I definitely enjoyed it at the time. I think it was like a forced proximity trip away. It's coming back to me but I think it was pretty good. Nice and spicy. Accidentally Amy, I gave us a three stars. It was closed door, not my favorite, a little bit cringy, but it was fun. Lady at Midnight, this was a four star. Again, another Regency romance. I remember nothing about this, but it was fun, I think. I gave it a four star, so it must have been. And then the last book I read in March was Say You Swear by Megan Brandy. I gave this a four stars. The ending completely blindsided me. The last 30% is insane the first sort of 70% really really dragged I wanted it to be just a little bit shorter it was like not what I was expecting hot sort of sad I wasn't expecting it at all I recommend it it is a long book so if you can get the audiobook I would recommend going that route but it's a long book and it probably could have been just a little bit shorter so I started April with an interesting read I read Credence by Penelope Douglas this was weird I gave it two stars strange really strange I didn't like the ending. It's very taboo, but I just didn't like the ending and it was odd. So um, if you want a spicy time and you like taboo, I recommend reading it. If not, give it a skip. Then I read two more Tessa Dare novellas. They were Once Upon a Winter's Eve and The Beauty and the Blacksmith. Both of these I gave three stars. I remember nothing about them. From there, I read The Ritual by Chantal Tessier. Holy moly, I 
adored this so much so fucking much i gave it five stars it is dark check your triggers but if you want a fun spicy time it was so good the smut was there and the plot was there it was fantastic like it is the perfect amount of plot and spice honestly fantastic five star recommend it to everybody that is wanting to read dark romance then i listened to satan's affair three star was a novella the ending was wild then i started the bergman brothers series on audio the first one was only when it's us i gave this a three stars wasn't my favorite romance it was a little bit strange but it was a good time haunting adeline and i also gave this three stars it was fucking strange it was spicy, but there was no substance. I wanted more. It was really, really long. I also gave the second book three stars, Hunting Adeline. Again, really, really long. I think this book should have, this series should have been an 800 page, like standalone. It did not need to be 1200 pages. It was unnecessarily long for not a lot of character development, not a lot of plot and not a lot of growth. It was just subpar. Then I listened to Always Only You by Chloe Lee, also part of the Bergman Brothers series. This was a four stars. I really love the representation. It was a, the FMC is prickly. It is so much fun. So I highly recommend. Then I listened to Underlock by Mariana Zapata. This was not my favorite. It was a three stars, probably my lowest rated Mariana Zapata. The rest have been four and fives. I read my first arc ever and that was Stealing Home by Grace Riley. I was so honored to receive an e-arc of this and then I just recently purchased this. This was a four star for me. I really enjoyed it. It is baseball and she is a woman in STEM. It's reverse Grand Prix Sunshine. Honestly, this series, you cannot go wrong. They are all on KU. Highly recommend. I cannot wait for the next one. Into the Tide by Laura Pavlov. This was my first Laura Pavlov and I gave it four stars. It is Brother's Best Friend and she is a virgin. Virginia Tripp is not one of my favorites, but Brother's Best Friend is one of my favorites. I loved it. It was so good, so funny, so sweet. Fending the Player by Eloise Tynan. Eloise Tynan is one of my favorite human beings in the entire world. She gifted this to me as an e arc during Rare. When I met her, she was amazing. I gave this five stars. This is like a spicy basketball romance. I'm obsessed with it. Honestly, it was so good. Five star. I love the characters. I loved it. Honestly, can't recommend. This, that, that series when I collect it next weekend will be going in this shrine spot right there. So you can look at it every time I'm here. I went on a little Megan Brandy binge before Babe. First one that I read in that binge was Jody Curve and I gave us a five stars. I loved this. This was like a uh, tutoring baseball romance so good i read this within under 24 hours because i just could not put it down it was fantastic i cannot recommend this book enough to you guys after that i read fake it till you break it and it was a three star for me i don't think high school's for me but if it is for you i recommend it but for me it was just a three star not my favorite deal dilemma by megan brandy as well this is a brother's best friend i don't remember but not my favorite i think it was it was also a four star it was a bit strange. Any Duchess will do. This was one of my last Tessa Dares and I gave it a five stars. One of my favorites. It was fantastic. It was funny, hilarious, so good. Check out my review in the description obviously below, but one of my favorite Regency romances. Recommend it to everybody. The book I finished April with was Does It Hurt by H.G. Carlton and this was a four stars. I don't think H.G. Carlton is the author for me. I will read the Sibby duet that is coming out because I loved Sibby and I'm very keen to see where her story arc goes. Does It Hurt was okay solid four star and then in may i'm gonna smash through my readings on the salacious players series if you don't know anything about this about the salacious players series this is a spicy sex club each book talks about a different trope kink style book um i smashed them all out pretty quickly so i'm gonna give you a quick trope rundown and rating of each of them the first one is praise i gave this five stars this is age gap ex-boyfriend's dad and he is a he loves pra to praise his girls he's a dom that loves praise. Eyes on me, this is stepbrother, stepsister. She's a cam girl. It's really hot. I gave it four stars. Give Me More is MMF. Not my favorite. It just didn't hit the mark for me. It was a three stars. Then Mercy is a best friend's son. It's reverse age gap. The woman's older. It was hot. She's a dominatrix. She likes to tame bad boys so hot and the mmc is the ex-boyfriend of the fmc in the first book so yeah mercy got a five star the last one that i read was highest bidder originally i thought this was a five star but i ended up changing it to a four star it is mum's ex-boyfriend's 
massive, massive age gap. Just not my favorite. I really was enjoying it up until the end. The end of the book was just kind of flat for me, but it was good if it, I didn't get the ick from it at least. A book I DNF'd, Hush Hush by Lucia Franco. I DNF'd it around 20%. I hated it. I hated it, I hated it, I hated it. I don't think Lucia Franco is for me. I don't like the way she writes female characters. I think it's very unprogressive. The FMC was calling her best friend a rent a ho because she was a high, high class escort. You should never call your best friend a rent a ho regardless of the job that she does. It was not for me. I gave it a one stars. It was way too slow. Like I read 20% of it and I hadn't even met the MMC. So I was just over it. The, the FMC was insufferable, it's disgusting, toxic, not for me. I like a little bit more progressive books. Lord Dash, uh, Dashwood missed out. This was a three star Tessa Dare. Like it was again, another novella. It was okay. I enjoyed it. My last Tessa Dare book and I am completely caught up on her backlog was Do You Want Scandal? This was another five star loved every second of it so funny so good recommend Tessa Dare so much if you want to start out with Regency Romance that is where I would start another arc that I read in May was Rewrite Our Story by Kat Singleton and this book has one been one of my favorite books of the year so far it is best friend's brother it is beautiful it is heartbreaking it is spicy honestly it was amazing five star recommend it to everybody Please, please, please read this book. If you take anything from me, it is read that book. The third Chloe Lee Bergman Brothers book. This was uh, Ever After Always. Yeah, Ever After Always, five star. It's a marriage in trouble. So good. For someone that's in a long-term relationship, I felt really seen by this and I loved the dynamic and I loved the growth in both of these characters. The next arc that I read was Wild Hearts by JL Sky. She's one of my beautiful friends, Jenna. It is a surf romance set in Australia up near Byron Bay. Uh, it is best friend's brother and it's like a second chance. They break up and some things happen and Ren is going through some trauma that she's working through and it was so sweet. I just wanted a little bit more growth from them, but it was a four star. Then as an arc, I read Under the Stars by Laura Pavlov. That was a four star for me. It is a workplace billionaire romance. So hot. The spice was unmatched. It was hilarious. I loved everything about it. It was just a four star. I just didn't hit that top special five star spot. Then I read Flawless by Elsie Silva. This is a cowboy romance. He is a bull rider. It was hot, age gap, forced proximity, fucking hot. This is a four star though. The couple weren't completely memorable and the plot wasn't completely memorable. The spice was memorable. That's what I remember most. And the anger that I have towards the FMC sister was unmatched. The ending was insane. I just wanted a little bit more healing from the sisters at the end of this. But apparently when I get to book four, my my soul will be fixed. So four star read, highly recommend. After that, I read Heartless. This was a five star. This is a single dad and a nanny. So hot. The ending doesn't have one of my, it has one of my least favorite tropes, but it was still good. The way the FMC talks to the little boy was the best. She treats him with such respect and honestly, I loved it. Five star. Daddy Cade will forever be top tier. Any man that's called Cade, I clearly give a five star because yeah, this was a five star. Then I listened to two Mafia books. They were Mafia Mistress and Mafia Darling. Both four stars. It is age gap. It is the FMSBC is supposed to be married to the MMC's son, but things change. It is hot. It is spicy. It is fun. All enemies to lovers. Fantastic. Highly recommend this series. It's a fun, spicy, very plot heavy mafia book. The FMC just bites back. She is amazing. Francesca will be forever one of my favorite FMCs. It's just not a five star book for me. I just didn't fully love the relationship to give it a five stars, but really good five, four star read. If I did half stars, it'd probably be like a four and a half, but I don't do half stars. As an arc, I read Hungry Heart by Missy Walker. She's an Aussie author. This is a virgin and her boss he's a ceo she's an intern it is age gap it is hot it is steamy he's a bit of a dom fucking hot highly recommend reading this it is set in new york you honestly cannot go wrong with this so please check this out then i read magnolia parks this is my whole personality now this is toxic gossip girl if you don't know anything about it honestly you cannot go wrong with this book please check it out if you want like a train wreck in a in a reality show this is the book to read it took me a whole month to read but it's just because I wasn't wanting to read paperback. The last book I read in May was All Roads Lead Here by Marion Zapata. This was a five star. It is a grumpy sunshine, age gap, 
Force Proximity book. The Spice hit a little bit earlier than some of our other books. I highly recommend My Eyes Apart, and I really recommend All Roads Lead Here. It was the best sort of slow burn small town book I could ever ask for. That was all the books that I read while I was on hiatus. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope you guys check out my reviews and check out my TikTok. It was a crazy few months. There were some really bad ones. There were some really good ones. A range of ratings. So yeah, please like, comment, subscribe. Tell me you've been reading over the last few months and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.